All right, so what I got going, this is my new radiant receiving coil. The one that starts with the green on the bottom and ends with the copper on the top. The top is open. A little magnet sits up here, doesn't really do nothing. Anyways, connects to this coil all the way down there at the bottom, which terminates to here, which goes into my plasma bulbs, neon bulbs, into the high pressure sodium right here on the bottom side. Continues on through the white wire into the primary of the microwave transformer, secondary. It's connected to this transformer. The primary of that transformer is the other end is open. The secondaries this this one's open. These three these are tied together, which is connected to the bulb, which then connects to that bulb and then to that bulb. And that one's open. So on the high side, this transformer is connected to nothing. It's just sitting there for for a look, so I'll move it out of the way. <clears throat> So, coming out of uh, the transformer here with the yellow wire on the negative side over to this pin and coming out of the high side of the secondary goes to this bulb which then goes to this bulb which then goes to this bulb which then goes to this neon bulb into the transformer, the primary of this transformer. The second, uh, the other end of the primary is connected to this bulb which goes down and connects to the high pressure sodium. The secondaries are connected to nothing. Now then, this big topper copper tube coil, that end is open. This end connects to my plasma bulbs which come out and connect to the primary of this transformer the other side of the primary is open and the secondaries which are connected together connects to this part of the LED this side connects to the center tap of that winding which goes over to the bulb which goes over to the, this coil here which is only connected on one side the other side's open. Now, uh, and then these are connected together, which make a loop with the little motor. Um, the only other thing I really have to show is the high pressure sodium setup. It's a dual high pressure sodium. So from the transformer, it goes into the high pressure sodium, up and back down out of the high pressure sodium and into this high pressure sodium out and into the spark gap the double spark gap which is connected to nothing so we'll turn it on <laughs>